freaking goodness. I am so glad that I'm about to finish off this Road to Glory event. It's been driving me nuts. Now, I had a plus 6 through most of this event card. I was not able to plus 10, unfortunately. But I was able to plus 6 through most of the event card. But towards the end, I had to start plus 2-ing because, well, I started losing plus 6 matches. And I was just getting really annoyed. So I was like, you know what? I'm just going to drop my deck down. I'm going to start plus 2-ing. And, you know, that's what I had to do, unfortunately. But we are finally at the bitter end of this Road to Glory. Pun intended, of course. Now, Pete Dunne will actually be my very first WrestleMania 34 Pro event card here in Supercard, not counting the Last Man Standing Triple H and not counting the Last Man Standing Batista cards. So yeah, let's just say Pete is about to get done here. Pun intended again. And no, that was not a that's what she said moment, so don't even try it. Now, along with me completing the Road to Glory and moving over to the heroic side, I will also be opening up a WrestleMania 34 Platinum Pack from Team Battleground, and we are going to see if I could get myself another WrestleMania 34 card. But wait, there is still more things that I want to do here in this super card video. Now, my team is in the prep phase once again for Team Battleground, so that means I have to open up my pack, and I'm going to do that right here in this video. We're going to see what kind of deck I get for my upcoming TBG, and also, my dad has a WrestleMania 34 Fusion ready to be claimed on his account, so I will be claiming that up. Now make sure you do not go anywhere because this is going to be one awesome super card video. Now if you do go on to enjoy what you see in this upload, make sure you do hit that like button as hard as you physically could. And do it Pete Dunne style and hit the like button with a bitter end. And also be sure if you are new to the channel to click that subscribe button because I do upload daily super card tips and tricks videos pack openings, challenges, and so much more, and you don't want to miss out on the future Supercard videos coming right here to the channel, and also be sure, if you never want to miss a single upload from me ever again, to turn on that post notification bell, and out of the three options that it gives you, make sure you switch it from occasional to all, because if you have it set to occasional, you're not going to get notified of every single video that I upload here on the channel. Now, I just found out that my dad has a WrestleMania 34 Platinum Pack for me to open up as well, so I will be opening up his along with mine. And speaking of packs, there is this brand new pack that they added to the store called the Titanic Titan Pack, and it does look very eye-catching, but it's 8,250 credits, which is quite expensive. So, why is this pack so expensive? What exactly do you get from this thing? Let's find out. So, you get one male Titan to WrestleMania 34, one female Titan to WrestleMania 34, two support cards Titan to WrestleMania 34, two enhancements Titan to WrestleMania 34, and four superstars WrestleMania 33 to Monster. So that is quite a lot of things that you get from this pack, but... Wow, 8,250 credits is very expensive, but you do get some pretty awesome things from this. And now that I think about it, this makes me believe that we are getting a new tier, because why are they doing such a huge pack like this, you know, that gives you top tier rewards? Titan to WrestleMania 34, I mean, come on, you're getting a male, you're getting a female, you're getting support cards, all Titan to WrestleMania 34, so... Why are they being so generous? I mean, the price isn't very generous, but why are they giving away such good rewards in this pack when most of the packs from the store are usually garbage? You know what I mean? Uh, so this makes me wonder. We might be just getting a new tier after all because we do have that Flash Ring Domination event coming up for Pete Dunne, and this could be their way of just trying to get people to, you know, buy WrestleMania 34 cards, basically, before the new tier comes out. I don't know, of course I'm just speculating, but let me know what you think about all of this that I'm talking about down in the comment section below. Do you believe that this pack kind of hints even more to a new tier coming to the game? Because I just really can't see any other reason to why they would be doing such an amazing pack like this. But with that being said, now let me get into opening up my prep phase pack and let's see what deck I get. Let's do it up, ladies and gentlemen. All right, Vin's Money versus Darkness Elite. Okay, we're going to get started. All right, so. All right, here we go. Let's see what I get. Okay, I get a Titan Stone Cold Steve Austin. Okay, I get a Titan Shawn Michaels Valentine's Day card. Pretty cool. Okay, I get a Monster Big Show. Sweet. Okay, I get a WrestleMania 34 Jimmy Uso. Pretty awesome. All right, I get a Monster Sasha Banks. And 
I get a monster Nia Jax. Okay, so the next thing that I want to get into doing here is getting Pete done. Literally. Pun intended. Pete done. Let's get Pete done. Right here, right now. I'm only one game away. Let's face Muhammad here. Plus two. The final plus two game that I have to do here. So, thank goodness we are about to end this journey through the road to glory. And no, I'm not going for the heroic upgrade because one, there's not enough time. And two... I just really don't care, honestly. I really don't care about the Heroic Upgrade, even though I know the Heroic Upgrade is amazing. It's just I could really care less about it, you know. Maybe I'll go for the Heroic Upgrade from the Flash Ring Domination. I have no idea. Uh, we'll see. We'll see, honestly. It just really depends on how I feel, you know. But just a normal Event Pro would be good enough for me. Let me know if you guys and gals completed this Road to Glory. And if you did, did you go for the Heroic Upgrade as well? Did you have to plus two any of the matches towards the end like I have to do? You know, let me know these things down below. And it's really funny, like, seeing Uncommon cards beating Legendary cards and Survivor cards because back in Season 2, this was, like, completely unheard of. You would never see Uncommon cards beating Legendaries or Survivors, but now come Season 4, since we have really good managers, um, you know, you see it all of the time, you know? Because the managers just make their stats go up, like, a lot, and it's just more powerful than a Survivor and Legendary card. But it's just so funny seeing that, you know, because I've been playing this since season two and I just never imagined seeing uncommon cards beating survivors and stuff like that. <laughs> like, it's just so funny to see. But, you know, I am just so glad that this is almost over. You know, like I was saying before, we're at the bitter end here of this road to glory. So this is just super crazy. It's super awesome and uh, looks like a perfect game for me. So that's just too sweet. That is just too sweet. Final round here. Big Show and uh, Brock Lesnar, I guess. All right. And uh, yeah, I'll beat these cards. So too freaking sweet. All right. Looks like a perfect game. Looks like we got it, people. So that's really cool. All right. There we go. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Perfect game for me. I will take it. And uh, here we go. We're getting Pete done. We're moving to the heroic side. Here we go, people. This is really exciting. Oh, man. And I love the animation that you get when you move over to the heroic side. It just looks really freaking cool. Um, we will see it here in just a moment after I'm done doing my picks. But, yeah. Pete is done. Pete done is done. So, that is really cool. All right. And now for the really cool heroic animation. Let's see it here, people. I love this. I love looking at this. It's just so flashy. Heroic mode unlocked. It just looks so freaking awesome, but yeah, I don't know how much further I'm going to go. I might grind it just a little bit more to get energies for the prep phase, but that's really about it. Okay, so with that being out of the way, the next thing that I want to get into doing here is opening up my WrestleMania 34 Platinum Pack from Team Battleground. And as you can see, Vin's money once again with another perfect TBG, 15,000 to 1,350, so too freaking sweet all right let's get ready to claim these rewards though and let's see if i could get myself a wrestlemania 34 card and if i do maybe it will be a pro that would be awesome but here we go in three two one what am i gonna get i oh i do get one i do get a wrestlemania 34 card okay i like this i like this monster sammy zane okay get my battle points and i get another monster card all right, all right, Monster Johnny Gargano, but who is this WrestleMania 34 card? Please be a pro. I would just go insane, but here we go. Let's find out. Who is it going to be? Oh, it's Adam Cole, baby, which is actually not a pro. Man, that's actually disappointing. Okay, so now I'm on my dad's account, and let's get ready to claim his WrestleMania 34 Platinum Pack from Team Battleground, and let's see if he gets a WrestleMania 34 card as well. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. The score was 13,325 to, wow, 13,167. So this was a really close TBG for my dad. Wow. Okay. Anyways, let's get into claiming his rewards and let's see what he gets. Here we go. In three, two, one. Was he going to get? He gets, oh, he does get a WrestleMania 34 card too. Wow. Two WrestleMania 34 pulls in one video. Not too bad. All right. He gets a Monster J Uso. Okay, he gets a Titan Jimmy Uso. Okay, he gets his battle points here. And who is this WrestleMania 34 card? It is, oh, it's Kurt Angle. You suck. You suck. 
You suck. You suck. Not literally though, because you guys are really cool. Okay, so the final thing that I want to get into doing here is claiming my dad's WrestleMania 34 Fusion. I am really excited for this, and hopefully you guys and gals are just as excited as I am. But anyways, let's get into claiming this right now, and let's find out who he gets. All right, here we go, people. Who is it going to be? Who is it going to be? Oh, it's Buddy Murphy. It is Buddy freaking Murphy. How do you guys feel about that? That is really cool. Congrats to my dad for that awesome fusion. But anyways, guys, that is all I have for this Supercard video. I do want to thank each and every one of you so much for watching. I hope you guys all have an awesome rest of your day. And yeah, I'm Newology. I'll catch you in the next upload. Peace.